I am Aaron Kowalski from the JDRF. I am a program director and research director for the JDRF Artificial Pancreas Project. Great. So the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, or the JDRF, is a organization that's committed to finding a cure for diabetes and its complications through the support of research. We were founded in the 1970s, in the early 1970s, by parents who have children with diabetes and remain completely committed to moving the field of diabetes research forward so that we can walk away from the disease. So a continuous glucose monitor is a device, and you see the handheld here, that takes glucose readings every five minutes or so. And essentially when I click on this, what I'll see is a glucose number, but also a glucose trend. And this device um, communicates with a small um, attachment on my body. It's a small wire that goes in under my skin. The power here is normally people with diabetes stick their finger and get a drop of blood, um, and that tells them their glucose number. And what we're trying to do is get glucose levels as close to as people without diabetes as possible. High blood sugar causes diabetic complications, blindness, kidney disease, amputations. And what we need to do is get levels down. The challenge, though, and what the power of a continuous glucose monitor is, it also alarms if the numbers are too high or too low. And that's a really powerful feature for people with diabetes, particularly on the low side. Many of our parents who have children with diabetes wake up every single night to test their children's blood sugar because the worry is they could go too low. And too low can cause seizures and, unfortunately, can cause death. So a continuous glucose monitor now gives us a number, it gives us a trend, and it also alarms when you're too high or too low, and that's powerful information for people with diabetes. So thus, in the design of this trial, what we did was looked at all of the different available, currently available CGM devices. We used the Dexcom uh, seven-day sensor, the Abbott uh, Diabetes Care Navigator device, and the Medtronic Paradigm, and the Medtronic Guardian devices. The Abbott and Dexcom devices are similar to the one that I use. Uh, they, they are standalone devices where you have a handheld that displays the reading on the handheld and the trend information. The Medtronic is displayed right on the insulin pump. The Medtronic, and this is a Medtronic Paradigm insulin pump, and you can uh, see this is an insulin pump. Uh, and on the Medtronic product, you have the, 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 this display of data right on the screen. The Dexcom device, you have it um, on a separate handheld. We used all three devices. We're device agnostic. Uh, we think the category of CGM uh, moving forward is critical to helping the majority of people with diabetes and, in fact, want to see a thriving market for continued investment in all of the different devices. So one of the, the, the ultimate goals for the JDRF Artificial Pancreas Project is to see a closed-loop device where the device now is functionally in, functioning in an automated manner. Uh, what's really exciting, and I think what this hu trial highlights is, there is a near-term benefit from continuous monitoring. But ultimately, what we'd like to do is have that continuous information fed into a sophisticated computer algorithm that's housed right in the insulin pump, and have the insulin pump continually taking that information interpreting it and dosing the right amount of insulin at the right time just like the pancreas does. Now obviously there's the limitation of subcutaneous delivery here, but we think that by making it automated, you could significantly, significantly reduce hyper and hypoglycemic exposure. Major, major improvements here. We have now real data taking a continuous glucose monitor, having the information fed right into the insulin pump, and using these algorithms in real people in clinical trials that shows significantly better efficacy. It's very, very exciting data. So we're at the JDRF trying to accelerate the development. We funded a large consortium of investigators who are working on this problem and working with the companies and the FDA to define how can we get this in the hands of people faster and develop a robust closed-loop artificial pancreas? I think it's really exciting. So technical hurdles on closed-loop are, are, are a couple-fold. One is subcutaneous insulin delivery. The kinetics of insulin um, are slower than if it's delivered via the pancreas into the portal blood system. So that's an issue. But we can address that. We're faced with that right now. People with diabetes deal with it. And what we need is a robust computer algorithm. Uh, the, the algorithm developers are using using sophisticated approaches. And I think the final piece is to make sure it's safe. Insulin needs to be dosed properly. You can't give too much at, at the wrong time or it can be dangerous. Um, we think this is going to be much safer than what people with diabetes are facing now. There's still significant hypo and hyperglycemia. A person with an A1C7 spends about 
almost 10 hours a day hyperglycemic and almost two hours a day hypoglycemic, we can do better. And if we make this automated, uh, we stand to gain significantly in the health of people with diabetes. So we, we're working closely with the FDA to see how we can accelerate to a, a closed loop system. I think there are going to be a couple very important iterations uh, along the way. One is taking the continuous information and ramping down insulin if people are hypoglycemic and non-responsive. I think we can have a huge safety impact uh, in the very near term, and we're working closely with the FDA to see if we, we can do that in the next year or two. The big step forward, the million dollar step forward is, can you automatically push insulin into somebody for the first time? Uh, again, this is a, it's going to be a partnership with the research community, the companies who are involved here, and the FDA, and we want to see this happen as fast as possible.